good morning. I am here at uh, Pappy McGregor's in downtown Paso with uh, owner Donovan Schmidt. Donovan, yeah. thank you for taking the time to uh, chat with us today. Absolutely. Um, it's been a bizarre 18 months, to put it lightly, but uh, you guys have succeeded and uh, your doors are still open. So uh, what have you guys done differently? Because you go to other towns and there are vacancies, vacancies, vacancies. What have you done differently here to kind of survive, I guess? Um, really put our employees first, like every decision that we made was to keep them working and keep the businesses going. Um, really, thankfully we're in downtown Paso Robles where there's just great tourism, great community, to where I always think if we were one town north or one town south, it might not have been as yeah. easy for us. So luckily, um, Paso has done a great job marketing this area yeah. and our location's amazing on the park. So I think Absolutely. it's everything just lined up perfect for right. us. And, but this is not the only restaurant uh, that you're invested in, correct? You, you have a number of local places. Right? Yeah, um, my cousin and I, Troy Larkin, have four places. Okay. Uh, Fish Gaucho, yep. uh, Papi McGregor's, 1122, and we're getting ready to open Cane Tiki Room, uh, hopefully in like 30 days. Love it. So Love yeah, it. yeah. <coughs> You'll have uh, some Mai Tais there. I'm a big fan. I was just in Hawaii yeah. and I probably drank uh, my body weight in Mai Tais in, in a week. So. <laughs> COVID kind of spawned the tiki uh, theme for us because we opened a tiki bar on this back patio for 1122. Right. And it kind of opened our eyes that maybe there's a market and people just love the, the theme and the drinks and yeah. we're going for it. Love it. Cool. Yeah. Well, uh, let's chat about your uh, speakeasy in just a second, okay? Absolutely. Cool. Thanks. Yeah.